Is this okay? I'm gonna call this good. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, what's happening? Yeah, you're <sighs> okay. What's up, home slices? It's your girl Annie, and welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see by my shirt, I don't know if you can see this at all, but it says the Midwest. Oh, there it is. So I'm gonna be doing a video about some Midwestern stereotypes, and I'm gonna talk about whether they are true or not because I am from the Midwest. Right now I'm in Arizona and I'm here for a semester but I'm originally from Iowa and so I'm very passionate about the Midwest. I was born and raised in Iowa, the heart of the Midwest, no big deal. This thing is shaking so much. I'm trying my best here people, I'm trying my best. So basically I'm gonna be looking online at some Midwestern stereotypes and clarifying whether or not they are true. So let's just get right into it folks. These, I'm reading off of a site called BuzzFeed. So, very trusted source. If you haven't heard of Buzz BuzzFeed, highly recommend it for any essays you have, any scholarly assignments, or you know, peer review articles that you need to find. BuzzFeed's your place. Let's get into this, peeps. Home slices, I love that. First one, the Midwest is just cornfields. So first of all, it is a lot of cornfields. That's kind of true, especially Iowa. It's got a lot of corn, people. It's, that's the truth. However, there are many pockets of the Midwest that are truly not cornfields. I mean, just let me just throw out Chicago, the third biggest city in the United States. No corn fields there, sis. That's the tea. Yeah, we've got quite a few pockets of metropolitan area throughout all the states in the Midwest. That's a hyperbolic statement to say that all of the Midwest is cornfields. But a lot of it is. The Midwest is boring. That's a pretty blanket statement. I mean, my thing is you have to kind of just like make your own fun. That's sort of the whole reason I started this vlog channel. Yeah, that's just kind of a dumb statement. I'm not really going to talk about that. Parks, there's lakes, there's cities. There's not like the ocean. But other than that, and there's not really mountains. So I mean, we don't have like two of the big hitters, I guess. But we have some really good lakes. And lakes are fun, so cowabunga, baby. No one in the Midwest has dreams. They're content to stay in their small towns forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you one gal who doesn't want to stay in a small town forever. Who has two thumbs and doesn't want to stay in a small town forever this guy. I do love the Midwest and I would maybe live in the Midwest somewhere but not my small town I grew up in. I also want to just say though I loved growing up in my small town. I loved it and a lot of people do want to go back and stay in their small town and there ain't nothing wrong with that. Not everyone wants to stay in their hometown. That's so false. Some people stay. Some people stay local-ish. Some people stay in the Midwest. Some people move across the country. It's just like any other place so Shut up. That was defensive. The Midwest is super conservative. That's a blanket statement as well. I guess it depends on what you mean by conservative. If you mean like Republican, like mostly red states. There's a lot of red states, but from Iowa, I will say Iowa is kind of a swing state. Yes, the last election, it was majority Donald Trump voters. However, I believe, don't quote me on this, just look it up. Let me just use the freaking internet. Was Iowa blue for Obama? Also, Iowa is the caucus state, no big deal or anything, but we're kind of famous. Yeah, we voted for Obama in 2012. That's just Iowa. Also, Iowa, again, another Iowa thing, was the third state to legalize gay marriage. I'm not trying to like spew my political views because I'm just, I'm not gonna do that on the tube. Just the state that the Midwest is conservative is false. But I will say there's a lot of conservative people as far as just like lifestyle goes. Like simple, conservative, don't wanna shake the grains. 
Midwesterners party in barns on the reg. Um, that's just straight up true. I can't even debunk that. I mean, it's not the only parties that are in the Midwest, but I would say it is on the reg that people party in barns. <laughs> All Midwest food is fried, then dipped in ranch. Again, a hyperbolic statement. Not all of our food is like that. But we do have some of the biggest state fairs in America because the Iowa State Fair, Wisconsin State Fair, and Minnesota State Fair are three of the biggest state fairs in the United States. I know that fried food is a huge thing at those. And ranch, I just speaking from my perspective, I put I will put ranch on anything. But on Friday night, we would we would drive around and just listen to some tunes, go to Walmart, go to Quick Star. Quick plug, quick plug for Quick Star. Don't get it twisted. Quick Star and Quick Trip ain't the same. Quick Trip is nice, but Quick Star holds a very special place in my heart. I love Quick Star, honestly, with every ounce of my being. And I know that sounds dramatic, but I really do love that place. They have the best iced coffee for a freaking dollar. It doesn't get any better than that. The best vibes. So if Quickstar wants to sponsor me, that'd be great. That's the thing I miss most about my hometown whenever I'm away, is Quickstar. Well, in my family, people in the Midwest are too friendly. Emphasis on the two. Um, I would say, um, just based on the places I've traveled and being in Arizona for a while, Midwesterners are the nicest I've ever encountered. Not saying like people in Arizona or other places are mean, but there's just something about Midwesterners, like, I don't want to say charm, easygoingness. You know, they just kind of don't give a frick sometimes. So it's like, hey, when you walk into Walmart and there's somebody greeting you in Walmart. And I think that's the case everywhere. Comment down below. In your states, do you have a greeter when you walk into Walmart? Like, there's always an old person sitting in a chair right when you walk into Walmart that says, hi, welcome to Walmart. That's their job. Okay, people in the Midwest drive tractors around everywhere. Again, hyperbolic statement, but my school, my hometown did have a drive your tractor to school day. It was during our like FFA appreciation week. FFA is Future Farmers of America as a club. We'd show up one day at school and there'd be uh, tractors everywhere. It is true that like sometimes you're late to things because you get stuck behind a tractor in the middle of town. And that's a small town thing. I mean, I don't think that happens on the reg in Chicago. It's definitely a thing that tractors, tractors exist and they're driven. Fact. People in the Midwest love buffets. I've never heard that before, but I will attest to my family loving a good buffet. And if you guys have heard of Pizza Ranch, it was a big thing when I was in high school to go to a pizza ranch um, after speech or show choir on a Saturday, we'd get home in the evening and we'd go to PRB, Pizza Ranch Buffet. Maybe that's true. I do love a good buffet. Midwesterners only listen to country music. False. Some of the best indie bands are from the Midwest. Okay? Okay? Country music's big, but I don't think it's much bigger than it is anywhere else because I think country music's just kind of popular in the United States in general. Lollapalooza is one of the biggest music festivals, one of the OG music festivals in America, and it's in Chicago, which is in the Midwest, so everyone hates living in the Midwest. That's just not true. Here are a couple Iowa-specific stereotypes since that's my home state, and that's kind of what I've been relating most things to anyway. Iowa is flat. No. It, there's a lot of flat parts, and it's not mountainous, but especially northeast Iowa, where I'm from, there's hills, there's like rolling hills across the state and like cliffs and stuff. So it's not that flat. Like I don't think it's overwhelmingly flat. The central part of the state is quite flat. Yeah, there's a couple like, there's nothing in Iowa but cornfields, nothing to do but watch the corn grow. Everyone in Iowa is a farmer. Everyone lives in the country. Not true. I didn't live in the country. I lived in the city. So that's definitely, definitely not true. We've got Des Moines, Iowa, which is one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. And as far as nothing to do, that's just not true. Like anywhere you live, there's something to do. In Iowa, oh, we love corn. That's, that's true. I mean, I can't say every Iowan loves corn, but like we have a lot of corn. It's, corn's delicious. It's a great vegetable fact. Beef counts as a food group. I don't know. I will just say, there's more pigs in Iowa than there are humans. That's true. 
so there's a lot of pork. I don't like pork, but I don't really like meat, so it's not very Iowan of me. Iowa nice is totally a thing. I think it's a thing. I think it's such a thing. This says, admit it, you feel terrible when you actually cut someone off on the highway, and guilty when you pretend not to see a mailman on your daily walk. That's true. It's hard for me not to say hi to someone. Hey! We live for our summer fairs. <laughs> that is unfortunately very true for a lot of people. Well, not unfortunately, but that is definitely the highlight of a lot of people's summers. You know, they have countdowns until the fair. And this isn't even the state fair. This is the county fair I'm talking about. My county fair is huge for how small our county is. Yeah, the Iowa State Fair is a big heckin' deal. I've never been, and it makes me feel like a fake fan. In conclusion, I guess I just kind of want to, like, shine light on the Midwest because I feel like it's an underrepresented area in the United States. I do think that the Midwest has a lot to offer, a lot of different types of people, and it's a very friendly place. It's just like the epitome of hominess, I think. So next time you're flying over Iowa, because Iowa is a flyover state, as they say, maybe you just think, hmm, maybe I, maybe I want that layover in Des Moines. I'm thinking about, along with this video, maybe in the future making a video of my favorite like spots in Iowa for some people who want to do some touristy things in Iowa. So yeah, thanks for watching Home Slices. My camera freaking cut off my ending. Subscribe for more quirky content and leave a like and comment down below other videos you have or other video ideas that you have for me. So bye. I'm going to do this. Wow.